Hi, I'm Brittany, and this is Tom, and we're for Fleming Forestry Technician students, here to teach you about wood facts. So our purpose of this video is so when you go to the lumber store, you don't look like a complete idiot. So to start us off, we're going to basically talk about what is your, what are you buying? And in most cases, you're going to be buying lumber. Now lumber is all solid wood that has been sawn to a particular size. You could have full length boards like our backdrop here, or you could have something as small as this. As long as it's cut to a particular size, it is lumber. Now, our most common use of lumber is called boards. Now, lumber uh, boards are nominally less than two inches thick and more than two inches wide. Now, everyone I'm sure has heard of a two by four. This is a perfect example of a board. Now, boards less than six inches though are sometimes called strips. Now, that might become into more of an effect when you're getting down into the very small sizes. We also have what's called eased lumber. Now, these are the part of the edge detailed where the corner of the board is rounded. So what happens is these boards are not going to be, um, as our example here, a sharp edge. You're gonna have a nice rounded edge and these are gonna be used more for stuff like exterior decking or uh, stuff where you don't want a tight, tight seal. You want that rounded for, say, a deck so your water can run through your deck rather than... We also have a couple measurements when used to talk about lumber. For instance, we have what is called a board foot. Now, a board foot is a 12 inch by 12 inch by one inch piece of lumber. The only issue is when dealing with, say, a two by six, you're not going to be having 12 inch by 12 inch. So it's 144 cubic inches of wood, which is described as one board quality of the fibers in a sawn wood. So first off, we have what's called close grain. Now close grain is wood with a narrow inconspicuous annual rings. That is opposite though of what is coarse grain, which is wood with wide conspicuous annular rings in which there's considerable difference between the spring wood and summer wood. This term is used to designate wood with large pores, such as oak, ash, chestnut, and walnut, which are also known as coarse textured Another woods. thing you also deal with is weathering. Now, most lumber, because it sits outside, um, just because of, they can't have a warehouse full of lumber ready to be sold, you're gonna be dealing with weathering. Now, this is the mechanical or chemical disintegration and discoloration of the surface of the wood. Exposure from light, the action of dust and sand carried by winds, and even stuff like snowstorms are going to be causing weathering to your lumber. What happens is this either adds in more water due to the um, access to the grains due to the weathering of the wood. Now, this does not include decay, but you will see decay-like things such as the surface fibers with a continual variation um, such as shrinking and swelling. And finally, we have timbers. Now this is all pieces of lumber that are over five inches in all dimensions. Now, timbers can be used as beams, stringers, posts, caps, sills, girders, anything where you're gonna need a piece of wood that is at least five by five by five inches.